Hey there, I'm Louis. Welcome back to one of my videos. Um, if you've never seen uh, any any of my videos, well, what I do is mostly experimental uh, stuff. <laughs> Let's call it that. And uh, well, today we have another uh, experiment. I believe the biggest experiment so far. I'll be doing um, I'll be doing some um, some hero artifact upgrades. And I'm gonna split this into a uh, first part where I will explain the whys and and the the hows and the and the witches, <laughs> and then a practical part where I will be doing the actual upgrades. So to get things started, um, just a little context before I try it in one minute. Um, I hold on to resources like a hoarder <laughs> and trying not to spend uh, many of my artifact, hero artifact resources because I didn't know exactly uh, which path to take, which heroes to, to to upgrade and use as my main heroes. So uh, to step back a bit, it was in a time I was in a different server and I, I had a, a poor combination on a, on a magic team. I, uh, um my my physical team wasn't doing so well i was investing more uh, kind of on both so putting uh, more resources into into both tanks and then in and, and also into the both damage dealers then eventually started doing just the two damage dealers and one tank and then i started experimenting with other heroes and see the results and back then more than a year ago i see i think um I was doing quite well in my server, or beginning to do quite well in my server, because there was a lot of critical um, teams, and I had uh, Helios with me, and I had some 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 combinations there, and it was working well. Then I jumped to another server because um, there there was some pr problems with our server, and so I jumped with with my my guild, and we we found ourselves in a server where there was uh, actually more Kark teams than critical <laughs> teams. So I had to change again my my strategy and started doing more Andvari and stuff like that. And it leads me today uh, to today where well, I have gathered resources. I didn't had the time to think about this very well, and and it's been <laughs> quite some time, but I didn't had a conclusion very well put and the time to record this and to the thing that think it through make a strategy and i was just postponing and l doing it like a, like a lazy person so basically a lot of uh, laziness a lot of uh, indecision a lot of uh, postponing and trying to see what's best for my server for my for my guild for my for my teams and that that brings us to today where I actually found the, the, the purpose um, for all these resources. Uh, this has been in the works for some weeks now, um, preparing the content for this. Um, but every now and then I have to switch to other things, so you know how, how life is. <laughs> so, done that, um, let's go see what do I exactly have and uh, what I would like to do with it. So. We're going to check on uh, my heroes here. So my main teams, I have um, so I have one critical, I have one one magic, and I have one physical team. The main is the magic, so it's um it's a ODH combo. Uh, ODH mean <laughs> can be more like a, a, a Dorian, Orion, and something else. <laughs> Usually Hasrot in there, but it can be with something else as as the other heroes. So I can I can put I can put Celeste, I can put uh, Helios, but I can also put Celeste and Nebula, uh, whatever. And then we have the physical team, and that's basically Kira and and the Akira team with with Galahad. And for that one, um, it just also depends a bit on what I face. Most of the time, I'll be using um, Jorgen and and Ching Mao on defense. Um, that's reliable. But uh, on offense, I will I will cling to try to using jet if I can if there's no counters on the other team. Um, but I can also I can also switch uh, jet uh, for um, for Andvari, for example, uh, or or I have both Andvari and jet. Or sometimes I will need to also counter the opposing team, so I might pu also put Ilius in there, and for example Ilius and Jet and remove Andvari. <laughs> you know, there's lots of, of uh, strategies here. And then last, the critical team is my is my weakest team, and that's the Daredevil team. 
Well, I do Ziri Daredevil Elmir, um, and then almost always there's a Sebastian in there. Actually, I just saw I have <laughs> two duplicated icons here. That's that's silly. <laughs> that was meant to be. Um, I don't even know. Uh, Ziri. Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that was not meant to be. Um so I, I tend to have these and then I and then I and then I put a, a healer and most often it ends up being Taya because it's what I have available, but it would have been better with Dorian, but I use Dorian in my so that's the things that I changed over time. I use Dorian in my third team and then I just uh became addicted to having Dorian with my with my Orion. So Orion uh, there, my Orion is here. <laughs> <laughs> and so sorry third team you lost Dorian so I had to give you what I had l around I, I had uh, undeveloped um, undeveloped um, uh, Alvanor I have I have a s uh, somewhat developed Tia somewhat developed Marcus I tried a bit and um, I just end up using Tia in there often um, so that's that's the three teams. So I have here these these uh, three columns. So these are the priority ones: Astrod, Orion, and Kira. Those are my main heroes above everything else. On the competitions, I also use all these ones that I have just described. And then for the Hydra, for the Hydra is a completely different thing. So I have a bunch of of heroes that I try to use. Um, although not all of them here um, have been using, uh, to be honest. So let's see. Um, for starters, Ching Mao always uh, drew. I mean, depending on the Hydra, <laughs> but uh, well, let's say almost always Ching Mao, almost always Zhu and Mojo as well. Uh, Lilith is experimental, Zishao is experimental, Satori experimental. Marcus, I end up uh, having him often, and then often Marcus and Tia or one or the other. And then there's Rufus for the magic Hydra, so that's Darkness and. Um, Darkness and uh, and uh, light, I believe. Um, that's where I use also Rufus, I replacing one of the tanks. Eh? And then often also Cornelius and often Faceless. So these are the ones I think I should invest resources um, in this pri in these priorities. So first the the most high priority, second the competitions, and third the Hydra. I need to serve myself uh, properly to gain more resources faster. This is what I should have done. Um, like one year ago, um, and then and then I can serve my guild better um, once I once I get to a, a stronger position because then I can fight better in the in the in the competitions and I can also from from in the group competitions the, the guild competitions and then in the in the individual competitions I can also end up uh, earning more emeralds so I can invest more on those other heroes for um, for Hydra and other secondary purposes let's call it like that so with that um <coughs> let's let's switch a little bit to the game here i will come back to these screens um whoops camera i will come back to these screens in a bit but um i want to give you some just some tips um sorry some information of my current state of my heroes so this is my grid of heroes and you can see that um, many of these are not very well developed. So everything, Satori has stopped using him, and basically everything uh, below Satori, so Rufus until here, um, Zisha, they were at first experimental, and then um, I end up using them, but I, I haven't put more resources because at this point I have other priorities. So they are all orange rank. Uh, Undeveloped skins. Uh, they have about the same for the uh, hero artifacts and everything else is like that. Okay, um, with exception here, uh, Alvanor, which is behind. I know, I know, and I think it will be good for the hydras, but that is even far, <laughs> far below. The ones I really use are the ones I talked, and they are all up here. So being that these eight here in the screen are the most developed by far and the really most pri uh, priority are these three we, we talked so we have Kira here um, artifacts five stars level 100 so at, at uh, orange or yellow whatever they call this gold the same for Orion 
um, then we have also Astro the same and then we have Galahad the same so these are all four I, I was developing as fast as I can back then and we have then Daredevil at, at level 70 and four stars and then we have Celeste the same and then we have uh, Ziri at level 50 four stars everything else from this point onwards is like this four stars level 30 just like that okay you can see all the same uh, basically I, I develop one by one level 30 then I push to the next uh, because I really didn't know and I was so stupid to take decisions for this time and uh, didn't know so I just accumulated and and, and pretended I care about <laughs> making decisions <laughs> which I have made but I uh, yeah all like this okay the same the same where things start to be different is is from this point so uh, I, at one point I was using Kark then I gave up um, Zisha um, I haven't been putting more resources and then then we have Alvanar okay so that's I uh, also Lilith I believe I didn't upgrade to three stars right yeah okay like that one three stars and the others one star so that's that's what I have um, in terms of um, in terms of artifacts uh, developed artifacts then let's look at the resources I have and then on the other screens I will be showing these in, in uh, proper um, detail so we have here um, well, let's call it proper numbers let's, we have here um, about 12k for each of the greens about 8k for each of the blues about 5 6k for each of the purples and about 3 4k for for the oranges we have a close to 500,000 artifact coins yeah crazy yeah <laughs> and um and we have the chaos cores uh somewhere 2600 okay and we have also some some keys to open but i'm reserving that for events um oh some more thing some more things we can see here the 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 uh fragments for each of the mm, for each of the books weapons and etc books weapons and and rings so you can see here the the more um common things the rings and the books and then the rest is the art is a uh, weapon artifacts oh <laughs> next topic let's look at the exact resources so this is what I just showed you there but properly treated so we have um, we have a column here with the costs for each upgrade um, until the max level for each of the uh, artifact ranks hero artifact ranks so um, to get you uh, level 25 so level 1 to 25 of gray it costs you 624 uh, so to max green so that's 26 till 50 that costs you 1050 and then uh, blue 51 to 70 that costs you uh, 790 okay to max purple 71 to level 85 that's another 555 of purple and finally another 555 of orange to get you from level 86 to level 100 full maxed orange rank okay ah one small detail since I have most of my heroes at least at level 30 and beyond we have here uh, an extra detail here so to max from level 30 till level 50 that's slightly less 890 so we take this and we do some math we have all this information here that I just showed you before so not the same the same information and we go here to this screen <coughs> and this screen I basically divide what I have in resources with the cost that it, it um, with the cost it takes to 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 max a uh, rank and then I can get the number of um, maxed hero artifact ranks <laughs> that I can do um, so in, in, in loose terms how many heroes I can upgrade so I can do for the weapons uh, for example 6.7 so that's 6 uh, almost 7 but 6 6 orange weapons 6 
orange books, six orange rings. We have uh, about ten for the purples. We have about ten for the blues. We have about thirteen for those greens, starting at level thirty, right? And with this, we have a lot of information. So I know I can do um, basically almost all my al almost all my uh, let's call recall back here almost all of my competition and, and priority heroes I can ap at least do the green right and then I can select some to do blue purple and and uh, orange so those those would be in my opinion based on the list I show you there I would do Dorian I would do Helios and Vary Jet so these are four of the core heroes you should really invest in if you have the chance of course so Dorian because is, gr is a great uh, combination for many teams including Dorian including sorry including Orion including uh, um, with Kira including uh, um, just about any team that does any hero that does a lot of damage uh, very fast and can benefit from the auras especially so again uh, Daredevil um, then we have then we have Helios and and Vary and Jet. So and Vary and Helios counters, and Helios for critical teams, including Kira with with a Jet, and then and Vary for cr for countering um, for countering Kark teams mostly, but also teams that make you fly away in uh <laughs> in the sky, like uh, like uh, Kai in the twins. Okay, twins no ceilings. They're not twins. Um, we have we have Jet to power up my Kira, uh, um, basically all my physical my physical teams with with critical hits. And then we have another healer, Marta, which I definitely need to 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 make her strong, to accompany the rest of my physical team, right? And then we have those special or the special heroes. So we have um, so less used than the other ones I've talked already, but. Um, still very important. You, we, we have Jorgen and Nebula. Okay, Jorgen to control. I use him a lot. Um, he's always in my defense, as I've said, or almost always. But I use him a lot to um, to to um, to control basically certain heroes that gain energy or attack a lot and need. And need and their skills uh, really require um, require the the hero to attack that often and require that energy. So th I'm talking of Galahad. I'm talking of Orion. I'm talking, um, not Kira. Kira becomes not so so harm by that, but uh, probably Lilith. I don't know. Some 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 heroes attack very fast, and this uh, little guy here or big guy here, <laughs> I might say, harms them a lot. We have also um, Nebula. To, to power up two two heroes and ones next to her, and I end up using sometimes with with my magic team, and then we have the elements from my third team. Some of them I haven't developed in a while, so Elmir and Sebastian. Then we have one more that I use on both competitions, but also, but also on the hider. That's Ching Mao, and then we have two specifically for for hiders. Although. So Ru 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 uh, Ju and uh, and Rufus, but although Rufus, if he's developed enough i might actually use him again in the competitions like i used to <laughs> a long time ago so that's that's the bigger list of heroes that i'm sure to upgrade on the current um, green to max green so that's 12 and i can do two more or or almost two because there's a little shortage here like, like uh, these ones here uh, not enough but almost then we have then we have of this list the ones I really, really, really want to bring as high as possible. So that that would be Ziri Daredevil slash Dorian Helios. Okay, those five, five, yes, five. Those five, I'm sure I want to bring in that specific order. But then we have the others. So all the way from green, blue, purple, and orange. But then we have a few others. I'm not sure which one should take the higher priority and that's that's what I'm talking here of uh, Andvari, Jet and Marta so should I do Andvari first, should I do uh, Jet first I don't have enough to bring both of them to orange maxed um, so it leads me to think uh, what can I do instead I can just pick the ones I'm sure so that's uh, 12 on green 
because I might have also some some of those others in that list that I want to put before or after I'm not sure yet so those two are are incognitos I have six here on blue the other four incognitos and then we have here the purple with eight for sure two incognitos and then five with one incognito after I do all these upgrades I'll be doing some, some testing checking I don't know throughout two or three weeks and see exactly what I really need to do next and then I will do <laughs> further upgrades let's go to the last part of this video um, of the explanation of what I'm going to do so now we talk about the artifact evolution so we were talking about upgrades levels ranks now um, the evolutions the evolutions as we saw there I have uh, uh, almost 500k coins uh, 2600 chaos cores and a bunch of these fragments and so the ring the, the books and then the weapons okay um, <coughs> So the idea here, and this can help you out as well on your future upgrades and how you, you do the strategy, the idea here is to take the ones that are the most priority for your team, so whatever heroes or even artifacts, specific artifacts are, are the most priority, and you push those, um, and I if you're uh, lucky to have more of those resources, then you can save on coins. And then, um, and then you figure out which ones you can also upgrade based on the number of resources you, you, you have, so you can get the most uh, out of, the of, of those resources. And then you upgrade what else? Okay. So with that, I came to this plan. <coughs> so if for starters, the costs for each upgrade uh, is as listed here. One artifact, three to four stars, that's 6,000. So if you don't have any f any fragments, you just have to buy all the fragments with the with the, the coins. So three three artifacts, three to four stars, that's eighteen thousand. Then we have twenty thousand for f four to five stars, uh, triple that if you want to tr do the three three artifacts, of course. And then five to six stars, that's six sixty thousand. And then the triple, one eighty thousand. Okay, uh, this really this is really simple math. Based on that, with the resources I have, well discarding uh, chaos cards just thinking about the the coins i can do 79 upgrades three to four stars <laughs> so basically more than the, the heroes available <laughs> i can do uh, or, or i can do um, almost 24 upgrades from four to five stars or i can do almost eight upgrades from five to six stars okay <laughs> simple math <laughs> um of course i didn't decide to upgrade everything <laughs> or everything randomly I just pick the ones I thought w were the most important and I have lo uh, left room for further upgrades that I haven't decided yet but just like like we saw uh, just a little bit before so what I'm sure to upgrade the book for Astrod so these are all five to six stars the book for Astrod the book for Kira the book for Orion okay um, probably not order <laughs> um, probably not order then we have um, the weapon for Orion because it just rocks and it's constantly activating so it will help everyone in the team then we have the ring for Astrod because I want to keep him alive so he can keep the team alive longer then we have the ring for Kira because she's not so important compared to the other two in terms of ring okay if you, if you, if you know what I mean okay the books they are about in these specific cases Kira and Orion they are about damage um, so armor penetration, magic penetration, magic damage, uh, physical damage. The, the book for Astrid is about uh, is uh, is armor, um, armor, armor, and uh, and uh, let's check here quickly. Um, yeah, armor and magic defense. Because I was <laughs> faltering on that. Uh, we have the the weapon for Ryan. So I was talking about uh, the um, the magic penetration. Oh, I didn't talk, but uh, he gives a boost to everyone. That boost is magic uh, penetration. Um, the the one for for Astrod, um would be it's in here in this second row here would be uh, armor for the t for the team. Uh, that's possibly very important, <laughs> but not as important as his book. That's why the book is first. Then we have the ring. 
possibly more important than the weapon as well because I might be wrong I might be wrong but the ring uh, is a permanent bonus and the weapon is not that's why I put him I put the weapon in there <coughs> then because the also the tank tends tends to die maybe I'm just making a <laughs> silliness now but often tends to die faster uh, the first in line so <coughs> then we have uh, we have Kira's ring and Orion's ring so um, why Kira's ring and not first Orion's ring well I have more I have more pieces for for Kira's ring as you can see here and less for Orion that's one reason uh, and you can see here um, I also had a lot more for for uh, Astrod's ring but um, what I'm figuring out is that Orion because of Dorian can keep himself alive longer okay and Kira is dying faster in my in my fights so I give the ring first to to Kira and then I give the ring to Orion so that will be the, l the order specific order of course I have more resources than that so I can do more than seven heroes so what I end up doing is this seven for sure we have this that are postponed so our Astro's weapon Kira's weapon Kira's weapon is not so important because it gives um, physical attack to the team she's basically the one killing the others and aren't, aren't doing so much damage so mm. then uh, we have uh, <laughs> except sometimes Galahad does do a lot of damage sometimes then we have uh, Galahad's weapon book and ring not so important probably you will even go further down in the priority and I will put something else here like I don't know Ilius or whatever and then we have um, so those are all, all also five to six stars and then we have uh, remaining um, heroes that I can do some upgrades and that's the first line of upgrades and then I'll consider more in the future so three to four stars all those I use the most so Helios and Vari and Jet for sure um, I also put in there Zhu and Rufus to help in the hiders so my little contribution to to the um, to the guild but um I might even back down from that uh, this time around and pick some other heroes or not and just do do something else in the future I don't know what I know is that after all this uh, after all this I will be spending 210k coins for seven heroes with maximum uh, profits and benefits from the resources accumulated so I spend uh, I upgrade w those when I have more resources abundant to, to, to get me the most and then 76 for other five heroes and that leaves me with almost 200k so 187,925 coins left for future upgrades which is about half cool <laughs> so I'll have plenty of room well then <laughs> this is uh, this is the end of um, this is first part of this series which will mostly I think be two videos be maybe three but I think two videos and uh, let's go back to this screen here and we'll we'll just take a look um, we'll just take a look now at, at some of the stats a as well um, you can actually jump to the airship there and just uh, oops just a oopsie again <laughs> just a quick reminder o of those stats so um, for example also this also comes into into the actually I forgot the camera <laughs> again this, uh, this also comes into the into the to the reasoning for all that before so the the number of stats you get here they are relevant so in your choosing so we can see here Kira will get uh, 3.5k armor penetration, so she will have about 10k, okay, at six stars. Um, in her book, uh, the weapon would do about 20, 21 or so, okay, uh, physical attack, right? If we check on 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 the on on Orion, so remember my teams: Helios, Orion, uh, Celeste, uh, Dorian. Uh, we have Astrod. Sometimes we put Nebula. Sometimes we put Anvari. But mostly that's Slast, uh, Slast, Helios, Orion, 
and the rest don't matter. So those are the magic users, the, the strong magic users, anyways. Um, Dorian also does, yeah, but it doesn't matter. So th those three, you see here, magic penetration 21k. Adding this for everyone, every, I don't know, two seconds, that's cool, okay? This is really cool. So this is a big factor, and you should do this one. Then we also have his book, okay, to, to make him um, strong enough. Uh, the intelligence here, um, we, we we increase it by one third. So um, s uh, sorry, we c we increase it by half. So then we 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 are now at uh, at two thirds of the maximum potential. So we're missing one third, all right. And this this is the same for for all the rings. So the the same result. But um, that's just one example. Picking picking here on on uh, on Orion. Well, we have we have uh, asteroids, so adding here um, not so much armor, but we need as much armor as we can. Uh, this buff does give a lot of armor. You see here, plus 10k, that's 31k. That's a lot. So might be um, might be one of the next upgrades uh, after I don't know. At least for surely after after all those I've listed, with the exception of Ru and uh, uh, Ju and Rufus, but at the same time when I did this preparation, uh, in the meantime I got a lot of resources, so I, I was running short of options for upgrades, so I decided to postpone um, Astrod. So maybe now it's the time to rethink that. And well, the rest is just more of the same. We see here. Uh, we see here. Um, Daredevil. I don't, don't really understand so so well now. Uh, for now, uh, er, er critical chances. I do know that if you have more critical chance than the start of the or, or the main start of the of the you you're attacking with with your critical hit hero, then she can do double damage more often. And that's um, that's basically that. So Celeste will benefit from magic and uh, magic penetration and so on. So we saw that. Um, I believe we're now good to go and wrap this up. So I'll be doing uh, another of these videos, um, hopefully today still, and and post it connected to this one. And you'll see um, in the most brief manner I can do, which is to do one example, pause, do everything, go back to the recording and show you the results. Try to wrap it up in a in the fastest video possible that I can because <sighs> buying all those artifacts uh, artifact, uh, fragments for for those books and rings and weapons that will ooh, take a long time and even, even all the upgrades on the artifacts takes a lot of time so I'll see you on the next video and thank you for watching uh, don't forget to, to leave a comment, a like or subscribe and like, whatever whatever you feel I'm I thank you for, for, for listening and for being part of my channel. I'll see you around. Bye-bye. Take care.